Hey you guys, welcome back to another week of LSAT prep. I am right now at Starbucks to prepare for a lot of homework today. I went to go, I got Dunkin' Dough, um, oat milk with caramel latte. So I I'm not going to film a lot because I'm in a place, but this is just the start of a series of me doing a lot of the lessons. I'm trying to catch up on all my homework and taking another diagnostic test. I took another diagnostic test a week before and I went up 11 points. I got 143, which a lot better obviously than I had previously, but still have time to improve. I have a month, less than a month actually to get better. So yeah, so definitely get to subscribe to my channel. So it always means a lot to me. And if you wanna see how I do this week's LSAT prep, keep on watching. All right, you guys, I am back. I have to like hold the mirror of the camera because it's broken. So it is like eight o'clock and I've only completed one lesson. Like that's how long it takes me. And I have five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have like seven lessons to complete. So I'm halfway through done with six. I'm gonna finish it tonight. Ignore my laundry basket. I'm gonna finish it tonight and do lesson seven hopefully and then tomorrow do what i can and then sunday i got work off so i have like all day to take my diagnostic test and do more homework so i'll show you guys what i'm doing i definitely want to like review what i'm getting wrong but i just kind of also want to get through the homework so definitely i think sunday um because i'm gonna go up to wisconsin probably um I'm gonna like watch videos and like go over what I did wrong and stuff so I could just review it and everything. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Logic raising right now. I'm doing type 2 questions and they're doing okay. I'm like getting half right, half wrong. And then logic games, they're like the numeration sequencing. Um, these, this one I'm struggling a little bit more so I have to like practice a little bit for that. But yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Saturday now. I didn't finish what the homework I wanted to finish last night. I kind of fell asleep, so I'm gonna work on that today. Luckily, I was able to get my shift covered. Like, I think I said that earlier in the video. So I have a lot of time to do it tomorrow as well um, before I have to do my test. And I think I'm gonna take the diagnostic test tomorrow night when I get back from Wisconsin. But right now, I'm just pretty much just continuing to work on the homework and then try to watch some lessons to like we go over it and stuff and then watch more tomorrow so I bring you along tomorrow and everything and I'll talk more about it tonight um I also have to find an internship tonight because I have an internship due application due tomorrow um but yeah so right now logic reasoning so like the different question types are it's like a hit or miss for me I don't I did better in the last test so I just have to see how I will this test, um, I just gotta really like focus on it. I just get really distracted really easily, which doesn't help a lot. But I'm just gonna try to take it slowly, have no distractions, and then go from there. So this is how much I still have to do. Every little thing is what I still got left. On top, diagnostic four. So I'm definitely calling it a night because it's like 12 and my brain's fried so we're going to redo this tomorrow. And do finish lesson 6 because I just have to do, um, uh, I think I have 40 more questions left for logic reasoning and try to squeeze in lesson 7 and then when I get back from work do lesson 8 like try to do what I can and then Tuesdays when I'll take the diagnostic test because I don't get back to my from like my class until like 11 and then I'm gonna be tired because it's like a three hour exam so I don't want to put my head like in the state like I'm not ready to take the test that's why I don't want to take it right now because I know sorry I should like hang up I know I'm not gonna do good and stuff so I take it Tuesday morning like fresh mind and everything and see how I am there and stuff especially because sorry the lighting looks too bright um especially because i want to like see like do more lessons to like go over before i take the test again 
So I know my teacher's gonna be like, make sure you guys do it, but I'm like trying to catch up. So it's just hard a lot, especially when I had a lot going on. So trying to catch up and I don't wanna like cram it and like get it done the homework and not really learn from it and stuff. Like I wanna go over it, review the lessons. I know definitely like the last three weeks, that's where I wanna catch up on the homework. I just wanna go through the lessons again and then just take as many diagnostic tests as I can. So yeah, that's where I'm at it's on Sunday. To, I started Thursday. I think I did, honestly, I don't think I did, I did do, I actually did two lessons. So I did okay, like I did two lessons Thursday, Friday, I did a whole lesson. I started a lesson, I started lesson six Saturday. I don't think I even touched it last night. And then right now I, finish halfway through lesson six and then I'm gonna do the logic games and go to bed. So that's where I'm at with this week's prep course. I just gotta really get onto it. I know I'm gonna take the October LSAT and I think after I take this one I'll see like how it is and like where I definitely need to like strengthen on and definitely like the next two months I like between my internship is just gonna be like a non-stop like go 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 and like study for the LSAT. Okay guys, so it's Monday and it's prep course day. Um, I normally go to the city for this for like four hours, so it kind of sucks for me because it literally dreads on so long, but I always have to leave like a couple hours early to get there on time. So we got outfit ready. I'm just wearing like hoodie, jeans, and then got my tote bag. If you guys want to see what's on my like LSAT prep tote, I could do a video for that for you guys and stuff but yeah so I'm about to leave I did some homework this morning not obviously like what I planned so tomorrow I just gotta take my diagnostic test and then just keep on like just jamming out the homework pretty much and then yeah so I'm gonna bring you guys along obviously I'm not gonna film when I go to my class because I'm not gonna have my camera with me I'm not gonna film it but um pretty much we're gonna do I think I'm doing a reading comp tonight and then logic game. So I will be back around like 10. Oh, I get home like around 11.30. So that is it. Woohoo. Okay, you guys. So today's Tuesday and I'm going to take the diagnostic test. But before I get that, I kind of want to tell you like how I'm feeling right now about it because I want to like tell you guys my emotions with this whole process of law school and everything so I don't know if I mentioned but I just feel it's not like I don't feel like I might get a good score I don't know I'm just like self-doubting myself but like I might want to take the October one I think I'm just freaking out because the test is coming up so soon but I just might want to take the October one also however I like attended like a law forum today I'm like in my basement and it's freezing down here but I attended a law forum today and I like asked if they recommend taking it twice and they one of the deans was like from one of the law schools I went to apply to they said they just highly recommend doing it once because obviously like they're gonna see that you put off like your efforts on this one test and then if you don't do better in the second one you kind of like if you do way better on the second one, you kind of like just blew off the first one. So I, but then like other places I see, see it, like if it's just your first time taking it, it doesn't look bad if you take it twice or like even three times. So I'm just like anxious about that. And I'm just like overly stressed because I get my letters of recommendation getting like ready, which means, cause one of my professors wants me to turn, like give her like my personal statement. And so I just have, to write that still and I want to make sure that one's like very thought out and everything and um, I have to get my transcript from my old community college I need to get that sent in because it's taken I they said that's gonna take a while so I have to get that sent in um, and then I gotta get my other letter of recommendation ready and then after my summer class like August 13th is my last day of my summer class and so I need to get my transcript in for Loyola, get that sent in, and I just have so much that I need to do, and I'm stressing out. I made a checklist for like 
law school like checklist of like what I need so I know I have it ready because I wanted to have all this ready by the time applications open and then I know there's a lot of deadlines like different times and um, that's why I'm like starting to go through the law schools that I think I might want to go to even if I don't have it like a shot or stuff like if even if I want to try to apply maybe um, obviously once I know my um, score I'm just going to knock out um, the schools that I don't think I have a chance in at all. Like, if I have, like, a small chance, I'm still going to apply. But if there's just no shot at all, then I'm not going to even bother, like, waste the money for the fee. Because the application is $70 and stuff. So I, I just got to do that. And then I just want to make sure when this application is ready, I will hopefully be in Washington. And then submit, 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 you know, and just have it ready. And so I don't have to worry about it anymore. And then just... Um, pretty much do my internship in DC, which is like a whole nother thing I'm stressed about because hopefully I have this one internship on the line, but I need to wait pretty much because I have to wait for the deadline, which is August 2nd. And like, if I don't get it, I only have two weeks to get an internship and we just have to get ready for DC and stuff to like move out there. And that's just, just very stressful. So I am very overwhelmed, overstressed. It's definitely, I started cleaning my room and it's like very messy right now because I just, that's like my way of like doing stuff right now and I'm like giving myself such a big headache so I don't know if this diagnostic test is going to go as well. I mean, before I go into my third diagnostic test, this, no, this is actually my fourth one. If I go into the fourth one, I'm going to go over my last diagnostic test and see like what I can improve on and everything and after... Luckily, next week, I don't have my prep class. I do have a prep class tomorrow, but this video will obviously be uploaded Wednesday. So by the time you guys see it, I'll have a prep class that day. I probably won't be done till like almost midnight, to be honest. And once I take that, I will let you guys know, let you guys know how I feel. Either really upset or relieved and reflect on that as well so i will see you guys in like four hours okay so i have 12 seconds left i just finished logic reasoning and my score is about to pop up i don't i did bad like i know did bad so in my head like pounding really bad right now i don't want to see it all the scores up okay so we're gonna see it I, I think I got like 130, I think I dropped, but we're going to look at it, reflect, and yeah. Okay. I got a 140, so I dropped the three points. Um, I dropped in the reading comp. Logic reasoning, I did a lot better. In logic games, I didn't do so well. So, obviously I'm really bummed, but I hope you guys enjoy this week's video of me practicing, taking a test again, prep courses and stuff, like, this is the real deal, like, my journey pretty much, like, obviously it's not going to be perfect, and you guys can see that, so, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, because it always means a lot to me, and I'll see you guys on the next prep week.